Today, I'm going to be doing a look at my vinyl collection for, uh, what is it, May? No, it's March. March 2021. I was going to do this in January. Also, I got a bunch of these, and I need to go and put, like, some of my paper-sleeved records into plastic sleeves so they don't have a bunch of little bits of paper all over them, you know? First one on the list, we're, I'm just going to go back through. I know you can't see the top of this. I'll put a picture in uh, here. But I have a whole milk crate, I think. That's what you call this thing, right? A milk crate? Anyway, first things first. Pendulum, hold your color. I've already gone and uh, placed these in the new plastic sleeves, okay? So this got damaged in shipping and it got left out in the snow and rain and you probably can't really see it because it's like, but it got all messed up in shipping. It's like totally ruined over here. It's all water damaged, but uh, the records themselves are fine. So that's all I care about. I don't care about like, you know, it, as long as the records are fine because I really like this album. That's the uh, the first one. We got Pendulum Hold Your Color. Excellent. It's three three discs, three whole vinyl discs. Freaking crazy. It's got all the good songs, uh, all these classic songs from Flash Loops and all sorts of stuff. Classic SWF gamers. Next one up. Oh boy. Twenty eight fourteen. Birth of a New Day by uh, Hong Kong Express. I think. Um, really, really excellent. I love, I'm really happy that they went and decided to reprint these, press, repress, re-release these records, uh, because this was always one of my favorite, you know, ambient albums. I guess it's not technically ambient, it's Vaporwave, which, uh, okay. Anyway, excellent album love this album really glad i could get it on vinyl possibly the rarest vinyl that i have or it was i do believe they uh started reprinting these so this is the this is uh duvet by boa which is the the lane intro song it also has uh the siberia mix on it and the acoustic version but it's it's just excellent i love this this is wonderful i'm really glad i was able to pick this up because i love the songs that are on here uh side b i have just like i'll put on side b and just let it go over and over and over again because i have a automatic record player uh not a plebe that has to manually get up and take the needle off of their record player every time up next oh what's that john mouse that is a John Mouse album called We Must Become the Pitless Censors of Ourselves. I couldn't remember the name until I flipped it around. You can't see that because the glare. There we go. Uh, excellent album. I'm not sure if this one's paper sleeved or not. Yeah, it is. The vinyl itself is this banana yellow color, which is quite nice. Uh, also, I love this album, so that's why I bought it. That's why I buy my vinyl records because I like the music. There is a couple exceptions, though. Uh, I'll get to that later. What's this one? This one, very interesting. What the heck is that? This, this is a Hospital Laboratory, which is a collab album by a bunch of really good artists, uh, specifically Bitplane. Uh, I bought this from Bitplane's Bandcamp, and I love Bitplane. My favorite song on here is definitely track six. It's called Sick Hack, and it is uh, a good song. I like the part that goes like, uh, you know. Excellent album. It has one of those, like, things on it. Like, you can, like, do the strobe light and get the animation. I don't know. I haven't figured out exactly how to do that. I've tried, like, different strobe apps on my phone, but I don't really see anything going on there. I think, you know, maybe my phone just isn't... Uh, isn't capable of producing the right frequency of light. So, I don't know. That's not really important. I don't really care about that. I just like the music that's on it. But it's really cool looking. And I've never seen a picture disc before. This is the only disc I have that has, like, any kind of semblance of a image printed on it. And it's really cool. It's like, wow, how do they do that? 
Next one. Oh, this one. This was one of the first large vinyl purchases I made. This is, of course, the, uh, the RuneScape soundtrack on vinyl. And it's got uh, the best tracks. Almost all the best tracks. Obviously, there's some, you know, that were left out that you can't, you know, you can't fit them all on. You got to do the best of. I guess you could have, you know, there's a couple that you could have negated off of this list. But, you know, we got we got a lot. You know, we got disc two, disc two, side B. Pretty good one. Uh, it has everything good. It ends with Book of Spells. Excellent. And... Yeah, it's just, uh, you, you fire this up, you can't go wrong with this. Some classic, this is MIDI, by the way. This isn't like orchestra or anything. This is just MIDI. But that's cool. This is the highest quality MIDI. Highest quality MIDI you're going to get. And here, ooh, this one's interesting. This is Chisato Moritaka's Let's Go EP. I love, love, love this EP. It is excellent, especially uh, side B. I love the song that is called. Uh, it is called. Uh, pa ya smoothly. That is what it is called. This one. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if this whole EP is on YouTube ripped. I was considering I might still do it. Uh, rip it. This is like mint 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 vinyl on here like i opened this up and it was you know i bought it used and it was like so immaculate it's like the cleanest record i've ever seen in my life and it sounds excellent there's no noise on the whole thing it's it's really great so maybe i'll do a uh, a rip and here is another bit plane album uh this is open obviously i just kept the the plastic on it but this is a bit plane album i have all the cool posters that it comes with. It's sick. This is Bit Plane's Alice through the looking glass and what she found there. Excellent, excellent, excellent album. Love this album. It is great. That's all I really have to say about everything that you're going to see today uh, is that I love all of these, you know, albums and things. Uh, really like this Bit Plane. Same with a hospital laboratory thing, gives you CDs. Like, not just one, but two CDs. When you buy his stuff. And here. Ooh, this one's interesting. Manian. Turn the Tide. Possibly my all-time favorite song ever is on this album, which is, of course, Turn the Tide. It's not an album. It's just Turn the Tide, different mixes of it. It's th This is my favorite song. Bulldozer Remix, which would be my favorite one. But I do like the other remix and the original, of course. This is probably my number one all-time favorite song. Uh, really brings me back. I would just listen to this and other various hard style music while playing Counter-Strike Source Gun Game on my uh, computer all day, every day. And shit was so cash. And here we go. Here is Exposé by Exposure or Exposure by Exposé. I can't remember. Uh, I like this album a lot. Goofy goofy album weird 80s pop girl album but uh i like the music it's very good this next one we got john carpenter's the fog and also john carpenter's assault on precinct 13 it's just one song on each side i got this at a record store in real life like that i just so happened to walk into it wasn't a record store it's one of those you know they sell like music and video games well, I went through and I had actually been looking at this online and I saw it at the store and it was like really cheap. So I'm like, oh, I'll get this, you know, but, uh, you know, it's not something I exactly listen to except this, The Fog. I do like this because it's it's just a Toho song, really. Uh, John Carpenter, he was playing Toho and he, uh, he decided to rip off the music. I don't know what's wrong with that guy, but he just totally just blatantly ripped it off. So I don't know. And here, this is another real-life purchase from a record store. We got Johnny Cash, the early mixes. This is from the record store day releases. Love Johnny Cash, um, but it says early mixes, which that's very true. All of the songs that are on here, which it's two discs, they're all really, really different. Like, they're the same songs, but they're completely, like, new mixes. 
that are not the same songs. So it's really cool. What do we got here? We have oh, Master Boot Record. This is the one called like Check Disc, I think. Let me see. Let me check the disc to make sure that it is the one called Check Disc. This is shaped like a floppy disc. It's that one. That's the one right there. That's that's the album. If albums come in these nice big thick plastic sleeves here, I tend to try to keep them in there. Or if it's like the Bitplane album I showed you earlier, where I can get away with just making a slice down the side of the shrink wrap, I will. You know, just to keep it keep the artwork pristine. Oh, here we go. Basement Jacks, where's your head at? AKA the official Gary's Mod song. Only classic Gmod YouTubers will know where's your head at. Uh, that's all this is. I mean, it's got some other songs kind of on there, like different mixes of where's your head at. But uh, it's it's where's your head at. You know, you know the classic, classic Gary's Mod, classic that's bullshit videos. Everybody knows this song if you're a real gamer. Oliver Klein. Minecraft, not Minecraft, very different. I picked this up along with the previous record, and uh, it's pretty good. It's a little trancey. Uh, you know, I'm not big into like specific trance. Trance is more, the genre of trance is too repetitive and kind of boring, but this is pretty good. I like this album, if you would call it an album, and uh, it's good. I like it. This one needs no introduction. The classic. I, I, I had to get it. It was cheap. And this is like the only like hip hop that I have now that I think about it. Classic, 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 classic. You got to get it. Uh, this one. Oh, Adventism by Yoshimi. Uh, <laughs> Yoshimi. So this is a very good album. Very cool. This is another dream catalog release love yoshimi very cool uh, industrial music basically i have the other yoshimi album called it's called like tokyo it's called like i i don't know i don't remember what the other one i have is called but i have a cassette and it's blue i'll put a picture of it up uh, i would have bought that on vinyl if at the time i had a vinyl collection at all here is one of the first records I ever bought, I got this at Goodwill when I got my record player, which I got at Goodwill also. This is Beethoven, of course. Love Beethoven. Uh, I like these a lot, but specifically I like Pathetic. Uh, that is my preferred one, which I think is side B on here. And it is, here is the more specific opus numbers, if you want to look at those. If you can even see those, I'm kind of looking at my camera viewfinder now and... Uh... I don't know if that's visible. Who knows? Anyway, uh, very good. Appassionata and Pathetic. Very good. That Pathetic is the one that is a Toho song. So, it's, you know, it's a Toho song. So this might be, I'd want to say, possibly this might be now the rarest vinyl that I have because I doubt that there was ever more of these produced. And this kind of music is extremely difficult to get on vinyl but this is classic gore shit in some uh ayane fukumi loli or die all the songs on here are absolutely bangers all of this shit is so good wonderful album i'm so glad i bought this it was it was ridiculously cheap i bought this directly from gore shit and i think he was trying to get rid of like old stock so I'm really, really glad that I picked this up. This next one, you might be able to tell what it is just from the, uh, just from the peak you got there. It's, uh, it's the Minecraft soundtrack, volume one. Got a little bit of damage right here. That's why I got this. I got this long after these stopped being printed. And, uh, this one has a little bit of damage on the side. So I got it for really, really cheap because that's what I do. I, you know... I just wanted the songs. So we got, the, these are the classics. These are your classic OG Minecraft songs. You know, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with it. And here, ooh, hoo, hoo, love this album. 
Miyuteo by Wizard of Loneliness, obviously based off of the character from Blue Sub Number 6 by the same name, I believe. Excellent album, love this album. The first song on here sounds like a song from SimCity 4. Very nice. Just all the songs on here are excellent, love them. Uh, I really wanted to pick up some more of Wizard of Loneliness's stuff, but of course, because of the nature of independent vinyl record production you know you can't you can't always have money to spend immediately and you know they get sold out basically is what i'm saying next one we have some more 2814 this is the original release of this one this is rain temple uh excellent like this one a lot another good ambient track album i guess it's vaporwave again don't ask me really good stuff Right there. Love it. Cozy, relaxing. What more could you want? And here we have DJ Force and the Evolution. Simply electric and out of control. This is some real hard stuff right here. Straight from Manchester from an Asda at 4 o'clock in the morning, mate. Classic. And here is Tubular Bells. Love this album. This is the original 1970 something. 1973 release. This is the OG. And this one, love this album. The vinyl itself, impeccable condition. It was cleaned though because it's quite noisy, but I still listen to it quite often because I love this album. So you can't really complain from a little bit of a little bit of scratchiness on a record that's from 1973. So that's like 50 years old now or something. I don't know. It's old. And here is Sun, Sea, and Surfing by Conscious Thoughts. This is Future Funk. Uh, I don't really like Future Funk that much. I do. I do like it. Like, it's not this that I don't like. It's just Future Funk in general. Basically, I have this, and now I don't have to buy any Future Funk quote-unquote album ever again, because this is like, you, you've heard it all now, pretty much. This album's good, though. I do like this album, but it, I mean, it's, you know, Future Funk. I'm not, not too big on it. I really like the album art on this. It's very pretty. And like I said, it's not, it's not this that I don't like. I like this album. That's why I bought it. I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't like it. But just Future Funk in general, I'm not really that big of a fan of. It's just kind of dumb. You can already see what the next one is because the stupid cardboard thing keeps falling. Uh, Twin Peaks. This is the new season soundtrack, obviously. And this one has... This one has uh, stuff like Saturday and uh, Windswept by Johnny Jewel. So this is not exactly the OG series soundtrack, which... Is fine because I like the new, the new season three soundtrack quite a lot. Yeah, it's good. I like it. We got some Utah Saints, y -y 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 Utah Saints, seven incher. This is Believe in Me. Uh, this shit slaps. And here is where my collection gets pretty crazy. We got some some Serral S three R L, however you want to pronounce it. This is. I love DJ Surreal, Serral, however you say it. Nobody knows. Oh my gosh. This this one, this one specifically, it's kind of interesting. Let's see here. There's a hole in it. You probably can't see this. There's like a hole. That little white dot? Yeah, that's like, that's like a hole. Like someone like burnt their cigarette on this one. And this one is scratched up. Let me tell you, this was definitely used for sure as a uh, record for like raves or something. This came from the US. I could have bought this new, brand new, from the actual supplier of these Relentless Vinyl, this, this record label, because that's what I did, of course, for a couple of these other ones. Like this one, which I believe is, this is Little Candy Raver, which has Dealer and Le Rock on it. Really glad 
I could pick this up, classic. Even this one, I didn't even mention this previous one, how much I love this album and how that little that little uh, cigarette burn in the vinyl, and even though it's scratched up, it doesn't matter. It still sounds great, and I love the music, so I'm not like going to go out of my way to buy it. And the thing is, buying these new ones, these were extremely expensive, not because they're unreasonably priced by the guy selling them, but because of the exchange rate and because of stupid shipping, okay? It's the UK exchange rate and shipping that kills me. Uh, if it was just US dollars directly and like shipping was, you know, normal shipping, then it's like, oh, that's, I would totally buy out like the guy's stock. Because there was another, he had another Serral album and I didn't buy it because I was like, well, I only like one song on this, this one and I'm not going to buy it. But you can probably see, here's another one. This one is uh, We All Scream. Rave Forever and Break Em. I love this one a lot. This is excellent. This is the shit. Let me tell you. This is the shit. This right here. Oh, Nine Inch Nails with Teeth. Love this album. This is... I have this on CD, actually. But this is the vinyl, like, remaster. And let me tell you, this is excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, I don't remember the CD having this much like substance to it i guess uh, not exactly what i'm trying to say but there's there's quite a lot going on here and uh, i just love this album i cannot wait until trent Reznor finally finishes year zero uh vinyl definitive edition that's what i'm really waiting for i was gonna buy the quake one but it's eh, yeah maybe maybe i'll buy it used but that one got it brand new and I cannot wait until Year Zero comes out because I will buy it immediately. This one. This one. Woohoo. Uh, the Hacker soundtrack. Excellent. Excellent shit. This is the only way you can get the song uh, Halcyon by Orbital on vinyl at a reasonable price. I, I've been teeter-tottering on paying like $60 for a single vinyl record to get Halcyon by Orbital, but I haven't, and this is good, although I think I would still probably do that eventually if I, you know, maybe I'll drop the money to buy Halcyon. There is one thing I don't like about this compilation. This is new, by the way. This is also from the Record Store Day, and uh, side, side four, I guess it is. It's disc two, side two, so uh, this, this compilation of songs could have been a little bit better. I don't think you need a couple, a couple of the songs on here, they're all great, except a couple of them, it's like, did you really need to put that on the Hacker soundtrack? Do we really need Heaven Knows? Do we really need that as the last song? It's, it's whatever. Otherwise, this has, you know, excellent songs, you know, Connected, Voodoo People, Cowgirl, that whole side is excellent. But it does pretty much have, like, the best of, of the whole three volumes of the Hacker soundtrack. Next, Lords of Acid, Rough Sex. Love this album. This is some classic shit. This shit is going hard, bro. This shit is going hard, bro. And uh, all the remixes of it are good. So, yeah, this is just, you know, I don't have much to say about it. It's excellent. This is in my bangers playlist on my YouTube channel. So if you go to my channel and go to playlists, uh, <laughs> Opus... Three, Mind Fruit, love this album, excellent, excellent, excellent. This one is signed by Christy to uh, Soichi. I bought this from Japan. Uh, poor Soichi, he must have either died or had to sell his record collection. You know, it happens. Uh, rest in peace, Soichi. Uh, Christy, the girl on the cover of this, obviously. Love this album. Love Opus 3. Really glad I could pick this up. And... Uh, the Japanese version, I don't think it, like, is any different. It's just that that was the cheapest one for some reason. That was probably the only one, actually, now that I think about it. You think the next one's Brahms? Think again, buddy, because the next one's actually Thomas Dolby's The Flat Earth. I love this album. This album is excellent. This album is so good. So, so good. Shout out to Gary and Terry for showing me this album. Uh, those two 
those two guys, they're on a sailing adventure and they, uh, you know, had a website where they showed their current position and they had this song on there. And I was like, wow, I love this song that's on here. And uh, so I bought the uh, I bought the record. Excellent. And this is actually a you probably can't see this, but this is a this is a Capitol Records promotional use only album that shouldn't have been resold, which is pretty funny. So now I got that. And so next is Brahms. Oh, no. Just kidding. It's actually Art of Noise, Paranormia with Max Headroom. This is an extremely special version that I believe only came out in Japan because Art of Noise, Paranormia original one had a tiny little disc that was this included with it, I think. And this is a special release that is a full size with this. And this has also, I think, uh, Nation Rejects, which is another one of my favorite Art of Noise songs. So, really glad I was able to pick this one up. Classic, Max Headroom, excellent. All right, let's talk about Brahms. It's time to talk about Brahms. This is a Goodwill find. Uh, I think all of my classical music is from Goodwill. And this is okay. It's not the best. It, it's good. It's pretty good. But this isn't the best. Not that big of a fan of Brahms. You know, it's Piano Concerto Number 2 in B-flat, Opus 83, and it's uh, it's alright. I know I said I only buy albums that I really, really like on vinyl, and that's mostly true. However, if I go to Goodwill, sometimes I'll just pick up some stuff, you know, just to have, or at least that's how it was before, before I had a real collection of stuff. I just would, like, go to Goodwill and be like, oh, I need some new vinyl records, I guess. This one. Ah, Tangerine Dream Underwater Sunlight. Love this album. Excellent album. This is from 86. 1986. Song of the Whale. Amazing. Uh, everything on here is amazing. I love this album. Such a good album. And here we go. Ooh, Juno Reactor. Love Juno Reactor. This is a special vinyl release of... Beyond the Infinite and Raise... No, no, Guardian Angel. It's from the album Beyond the Infinite. It's uh, Guardian Angel and Razorback. Just those two songs off the main album. Excellent. I'm so glad I got this. Uh, I love both of those songs quite a lot. Guardian Angel, of course, the uh, opening song from Technolize, one of my favorite animated series. And yeah, next one. We got Shake Inc., by Go Bang. This is uh, pretty fucking good. I don't have a lot to say about this. It's just that this goes hard. And uh, there, there you go. It goes hard. This one. This is Electric Avenue by, I believe, X6. And that's about all the information that's on here. The B side of this I don't think is even on YouTube. But... This album is sick. I love the album art. This is um, this is the Vic chip, I think. This is like an MMU, maybe. This is a Commodore 64C motherboard, I think. This, next one, very rare, Chimp Beams. This is Menina? Menina by Chimp Beams? I have this one written down because I can never remember the name of it. Excellent. Yeah, oh, it's written right here. Yeah, Men... Menina, 2007 mix. Excellent album. This is mostly just like chill, like kind of music. This is like relaxation music. Uh, this is this is pre, this is like your chill beats to study by before that existed. So it's pretty much like that. It's made by some Japanese guys. So it's going to be like that. You know how it is. This is basically, you know, pico silence. This one, uh, pretty good. A little bit trancy, but otherwise it goes hard. <laughs> oh, what's that? The best Utah Saints record I have. This is something good. This is uh, excellent. Something good is really good. And yeah, this one, it's a, it needs sleeved. Let's say that. This one has no sleeve. Okay. So this one needs sleeved for sure. And uh, love Utah Saints, in case you couldn't figure that one out. This is, of course, the one that's like a remix of the, the Kate Bush song. So, excellent, excellent, excellent. 
This next one, what is this? Next Generation Records promo. This is uh, by Euphoria. This is the song Better Than Before and The Way. That's all that's on here, I believe. And uh, let me tell you, bangers, absolute bangers. This is where you start getting into weird vinyl shit, okay? You know you're in the weird zone when you're on Discogs and you're buying uh, white label, handwritten label vinyls from the UK, okay? Uh, that's, a, that's a path you don't want to go down. I've spent countless hours listening to obscure music uh, just to be like, should I buy this? Because when you buy something, if you find a record you want to buy from the UK or, you know, foreign, uh, you have to buy multiple records because it's not worth it just to buy one for the shipping. Because typically the cost of shipping will cover, you know, three or four records. So you got to go and find stuff. But good thing I found this because let me tell you, this shit is good. Really like this. I think this might be in my, my favorites playlist. I'm not sure. Go look if it's not. Uh, maybe that'll be another one to rip. All right, here is a uh, Chopin recital or Chopin. Chopin's dad was French, so I think his name was probably Chopin. It was probably Chopin. I don't know. I'm not French, okay? Uh, Sonata Opus 58, not that good. I don't like this. This is a Goodwill pickup that I was just like, oh, I know, I know Chopin, and uh, not a good one. Don't like it. So this one, this is basically, we're getting into the back of the record collection now and so the back end is mostly just like empty record sleeves or padding or like records that uh when i order a record off ebay the guy will like ship other records around it just to keep the main record that i bought safe so but this was a goodwill pickup that i did buy and uh didn't like this one although this one funnily enough is in plastic so Maybe someone really liked this one, but I don't know. I don't like it. This is, I think, a compilation. I don't know. It's Finlandia. This has all of the songs that everyone's ever heard before. You know, it starts off with, you know, the song, like the waking up song. Uh, I'll, I'll edit it in. It's got a bunch of songs that everyone's heard. So there you go. Of course, another Goodwill pickup. This one I'm not uh, regretting because, you know, there's good songs on here. Some decent songs. This next one we have a piano cover of Liszt's Liebenstrom. Excellent, of course. You know, you can't go wrong with Liebenstrom. Uh, I'm more of a Bach and Beethoven kind of guy. I love Bach. I don't have any Bach, of course. But that's just how it is. And, uh, you know, Liszt is good. Liszt is good now not quite sure why this is all the way back here but oh what's this this is minecraft volume two this one has my favorite minecraft songs on it let me tell you the songs that are on here are absolutely excellent love this album this album is so good this album is so damn good i love it i'm so glad the guy c416 or whatever his name is i can't even remember it's C418. Oh, no. Oh, no. But I'm so glad he went and released this because I had got the original Minecraft vinyl and I knew it wasn't going to have the newer songs like this, you know, one does. But this didn't exist. And I'm like, ah, I got to get some Minecraft. I got to get some plastic Minecraft, you know. So... This came out and I immediately bought it. I immediately bought it. This one isn't like the special one. It's not colored. I just wanted black vinyl. You know, the cheapest one. I figured I just care about the music. I'm not going to spend the extra few dollars to get the fancy pants versions. I just wanted the music. So there you go. We got a police record. We got Can't Stand Losing You and Roxanne. Now, uh, when I bought this off eBay, okay... The listing said Roxanne and uh, Don't Stand So Close to Me, which is why I bought this, okay? Because I love those two songs. And I'm like, oh, no way. They made a, a single that has those two songs that I really like because I had been going through and trying to find a police, you know, album or record that I really enjoyed. But it seemed like every single one only had one or two songs that I liked. None of them had, like, a bunch of songs that I liked. So I bought this, and it turns out, no, it only has... Roxanne on the one side, and on the other side, it's this song. So, 
it's hit or miss when it comes to the police and my adapter that I made. It just fell out. Over here we have Hard Work by CCP. Uh, excellent. Love this song. Love this track, this album, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it. It's excellent. This is some good shit. Uh, very cool. Get you good and get you get you get you going to work. Get you working. This shit will get you working. You know, get you get you moving. Get you doing some work, which is what I should be doing right now instead of making a video about my record collection. But I'm doing this anyway because I've been putting it off and putting it off. And if I don't do it, it's never gonna get done. And let me tell you, this video has been in the works. It's been written down in my projects list since 2019. December 2019, I wrote this down. I'm like, record collection video. And also, it's like, I buy a record, and it's like, oh, I have to wait until this record comes before I can make the video. So, this is a Goodwill pickup. Uh, weird. This isn't music. This is just like a, like a sound disc to demonstrate like what stereo audio sounds like. Uh, let me tell you, it sounds really good. It's like super high quality, and in the inside, it has all this cool stuff about like how stereo works and record grooves and whatnot. Uh, it's pretty cool. But the the stuff that's on here, it's just kind of like noises. It's like these weird horns. And I guess there's a bunch of volumes of this. I saw this. I'm like, Audio Fidelity stereo disc. That sounds cool. So I got it. You know, you can't go wrong at Goodwill. Stuff at Goodwill is like a dollar. So it's like, why not buy it? This is the Romantic Strings. Uh, I don't remember liking this. This was another Goodwill pickup, of course. We're, we're reaching the end. There's not going to be any more good records, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I was a big fan of this one because I don't particularly remember anything about it. Here we have, right here, this is uh, Bro Brokner. Not a big fan of this one. Not very good, and it also sounds like shit because it's micro groove. So it's uh, it's shitty. Another Goodwill pickup. Mistake, let me tell you. Next one, Lionel Richie's Dancing on the Ceiling. This one, I don't even think, uh, I don't think any of the songs on here really stand out. They're not really that great. But this is one of those ones that uh, when I bought another record from eBay, the this was just packaged in there as like packaging material. So... I mean, hey, it's free record that no one would ever buy. And this is embossed. You can have you can feel it. It's textured. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this next one is actually a good one. This is The Wives of Henry VIII by Rick Wakeman. And this is cool. This is very much like um cosmic rock and it's very computery kind of. I don't know, I like this a lot. This one someone gave to me. And uh, I really like this one, actually. So, cool picture in here. We got this guy jamming. He's got, like, 20 synths. Each of his synths is labeled. He's got all kinds of moogs and all kinds of stuff, dude. He's got a Hammond C3. Oh, dude. Well, you can already read this next one. And I got this at Goodwill thinking, I just saw Johnny Cash. And uh, it turns out this isn't Johnny Cash. This is a Johnny Cash cover album, I think. Uh, I haven't even played this one because uh, I just look at it and I'm like, why did I buy this? It's also Micro Groove, I think? I'm pretty sure. And it's not like sleeved, it's just in this cardboard. Look at that, look at this. This is... <sighs> this next one, you can already see it. Uh, it's Dvorak. Another another Goodwill pickup. Don't like it. Don't like this one at all. It's not... It don't like it. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> George Carlin Class Clown. What?! Yeah, uh, it's it's funny. This is the things that you can't say on TV thing. But like George Carlin, if he was alive now, would be like towing the typical line of all the so-called comedians. Uh, he wouldn't be funny nowadays. He would just be a dumb retard. But this is, you know, it's kind of funny. It's, you know, the funny part about this is that my uh, Tubular Bells record, it's in a sleeve that has other releases on it. And this is on that sleeve. This one, again, this was a Goodwill pickup, I think. Because I'm like, oh, I know Duke Ellington. And, of course, every song on here is trash. This is all nonsense music. Every single one of these sucks. Um, hate it. It sucks. This, this right here, this was another eBay acquisition, like accidental eBay 
uh, shipping packaging. It's uh, it's Chic by Risqué. And everyone's heard the song that's on here, uh, Good Times, I think, yeah. It's the first track on here. So, you know, other than that, don't know any of those songs. But, you know, Good Times, the last thing that's in here, that's one of those right there. Stroboscope. And let me tell you, my $4 record player uh, runs perfectly in speed. So, cool. That's my whole record collection. I guess my recording cut off, and this is going to be another outro. Uh, sorry, I don't know when the recording cut off. I would have re-recorded it, but I guess I'm going to just go through and take pictures of stuff if I need to. So, or maybe I'll just cut it off, because a lot of the final ones were just kind of bad. I hope the recording's not corrupted. Uh. We'll see. If if it is, you're getting audio only, and then I'll just take pictures, because I'm not re-recording all of this. So, that's it. We're done. That's an hour and ten minutes. Jeez.